Before we continue with the rest of the video, we could use your help. Click that like button to help spread the word about Watch Jojo, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. This elephant lost her left front leg to a landmine, but how a doctor is helping her is incredible. When Matola the elephant lost her left front leg in a terrible accident, it was thought that she might never lead a normal life again. After all, that's an awful lot of weight to be carrying around on just three limbs. However, thanks to a decade of pioneering treatment, her future now looks bright. Her downward spiral, though, began in 1999 when the then 38 year old pachyderm stepped on a landmine. The working elephant had merely been hungrily foraging among the trees when the accident happened. Sadly, the mine, a leftover from skirmishes along Thailand's border with Myanmar, shredded her front left foot and most of her leg. It could have been much worse, however, as the area is littered with devices following half a century of insurgency. Despite her traumatic ordeal and horrific injuries, though, Matola somehow managed to walk for three days before arriving at a hospital run by Lampang's Friends of the Asian Elephant Foundation. Founded in 1993, the facility helps sick and injured elephants in Mai Yao National Reserve. Naturally, several attempts were made to save Matola's mangled limb, but staff at the hospital were left with no choice but to amputate everything below the knee. Interestingly, the operation broke the world record for the amount of anesthetic needed, which was enough to sedate 70 humans. Matola, though, was forced to hobble around on three legs for two years until she received a temporary canvas shoe. Years of surgery and rehabilitation followed, too, until 2006, her first man-made limb was fitted. Despite her hardships, however, the elephant was able to live a relatively comfortable life. In all these long years, Matola enjoyed a happy life, walking out of her shelter for a sunbath, said Sarida Salwala, Friends of the Asian Elephant Foundation's Secretary General. But 10 years after her trauma, Matola was offered a new lease on life. Indeed, with the help of the Prosthesis Foundation, a charity that provides artificial arms and legs to people in need, doctors at the Elephant Hospital set about constructing a state-of-the-art prosthetic leg fit for the pachyderm. Of course, the task wasn't without its challenges. After all, the leg would need to help support Matola's three-ton weight, and even if it did, there was no guarantee that the animal would get used to walking on it. I do hope she'll accept the new leg, Salwala told the Associated Press before the procedure. It would be wonderful to see Motola and baby Moshe walking together side by side. Incidentally, Moshe, a fellow landmine survivor, was taken in by the hospital when she was just seven months old. In 2007, she became the planet's first elephant to benefit from an artificial limb. Motola's 2009 operation, though, was overseen by Dr. Third Chai Jivakate, who invented the prosthetic elephant leg. The orthopedic surgeon who founded the Prosthesis Foundation had previously worked on Moshe's artificial limb. However, things didn't go entirely to plan when the three-ton elephant dented the prosthesis in three places when, a few days after its fitting, she lay down for a rest. Fortunately, the leg was quickly repaired and within a month, Matola was able to sit and lie down as normal. But Matola faced another setback not long after when the joints of her new leg fell apart. Thankfully, she wasn't hurt and the Prosthesis Foundation was able to carry out a swift repair. Before the year was out then, Matola was walking on her new leg. Moreover, both she and Moshe were constantly monitored so that any adjustments could be carried out. Certainly, the elephants will need to receive replacement legs every few years to accommodate changes in their weight. Dr. Third Chai, however, sees this as an opportunity to upgrade his work. Every time we fix it, we improve it. It's more sturdy, stronger. This is not in the textbook. The surgeon told Reuters it's almost certain that the two elephants will live long and healthy lives Thanks to the work of both the hospital and the foundation the pair however will remain permanent inpatients Neither will be able to be released into the wild Fascinatingly dr. Third Chai's prosthetic elephant limbs are crafted from metal plastic and sawdust They're specially engineered to ensure that Matola and Moshe can move as naturally as other elephants Unfortunately, there's no guarantee that other elephants won't fall victim to the same fate. In fact, it's estimated that 70% of the Thailand-Myanmar border is scattered with landmines. However, thanks to the technology developed by the Friends of the Asian Elephant Foundation and the Prosthesis Foundation, other maimed pachyderms can receive the specialist treatment they need. Indeed, since its 1993 opening, the hospital has treated 15 elephant landmine victims. Long may its work continue.
Please don't forget to click on the button if you like this video and share this video with your friends below. Please don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive everything that's new.